subscapers and welcome to the Night Sword quest guide. There are no quest requirements. The item requirements are red pepper pie, two iron bars and an iron pickaxe or better. If you are an iron man, you can make the iron bars by mining iron ore and smelting them into iron bars. But I will show you how to make the red pepper pies in a second. The skill requirements are 10 mining and for Iron Man it is 10 cooking to actually cook the red pepper pie and 10 smithing to smelt some iron bars. The recommended unlocks are activated lodestones to Falador, Bordserum and Varrock. There are no enemies to defeat but you do need to run away from level 54 ice warriors and level 51 ice giants. Let's begin. This is for Iron Man. To make the red berry pie, we are using the Lumbridge Lodestone and making our way to Beefy Bill. He has lots of supplies for the red berry pie itself. Just follow my lead. Here's Beefy Bill, trade him to see his shop. So we are making two red berry pies because I'm afraid we will burn one of them. So buy two pie dishes, two empty pots, two red berries and two buckets of water. Then it is time to make the door. Open the gate to wheat field and pick two wheats. Open the door to the mill and climb the top ladder. Use the wheat to the hopper. Operate the hopper controls. Use another piece of wheat to the hopper. Operate the hopper controls and climb the bottom ladder. Here are two empty pots. And we are ready to make the pie. Use the Lumbridge Lodestone. And let's get to the kitchen. Here's actually a lower chance to burn the pie on this cook So first off, we are using the pot of floor to bucket of water. Make sure to select pastry dough and make two of them. Put them to pie dish and make two pie shells. Then add the red berries to the pie shells and you have yourself two uncooked red berry pies. Then go ahead and use them to the cooking range. Let's see. Oh, okay. We didn't burn any of them. So now to the actual quest. Let's get the items from our bank. So we are climbing the top floor of the staircase and grabbing our two iron bars. Then we are using the lodestone to Falador. Get to the White Castle. Top 
talk to Squire, Astro, and select these chat options. Accept the quest, then use the lowstone to Varrock. Head to the Varrock castle. Open the door and talk to Reldo. Select these chat options. You can ignore the rest of the chat options. And now it's time to teleport to Port Serum. Go towards the Mud Skipper point. Talk to Turgo and select these star options. Talk to Turgo again and select these chat options. Then we are going to the trapdoor and getting ourselves some blue right ore. Just follow me. I will show you a safe spot, which you can use to easily get some blue right ore and not get attacked. Right here. Now that you have one blue right ore, use the lodestone to Valador and visit the castle. Head towards the castle. And talk to Square. Select these chat options. And now it's time to get the portrait. Go through these doors, just follow me. Climb up the ladder. Go through these doors and climb up the staircase. If Sir Vivan is in this other room with the cupboards, you cannot actually get the portrait from here. So you need to switch the wells until you see one which has surviving in this room that we are at the moment. So now that we can actually proceed, open the door, get into the room and close the door. Then open the cupboards and search them.
Now you should have a portrait. Then use the lodestone to port Sarah. Let's head to Turgo once again. Talk to Turgo and select the chat options. Talk to Turgo again and select these chat options. Now you have a blue right sword. Then it is time to return to the Falador castle. Use the lodestone to Falador. Get to the Falador castle and this will be the end of the quest. Talk to Square and select these set options. Congratulations! The Knight Sword quest completed. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe if you want to, and see you in the next one.